just like the, I mean, I, everyone was talking about that you were one of the main reasons they signed on to the film. So I was talking about, I was wondering how you could say, you kind of really assembled this cast and like what you really saw in these guys, why you brought them into this project. I, I started first only with one person. I just started with Henry. And I just thought, I needed a Theseus, I needed a guy who we didn't have a script. And I just thought, okay, how do we get a guy that nobody's seen before and I'm so fly I know that I actually get in the shape physically, but actually perform a role in case the role changes. He started as a king's son, by the time we made the movie, he's a commoner. So I knew that was going to happen. So I went and read Henry and uh, read him one scene and he read it all wrong. And I know he read it perfect, I told him it was all wrong. We took him another way, he went there and I told him, no, that was the first one was right, then I switched it a couple of times and he kept doing what I wanted and I just said, you know what? I stick with this guy, if we fix our script, he can act it. And that's how we got him. And then everybody else, I decided all the gods were going to be young. Once we decided that, then I was just looking for the best young actors I could get, whose schedules I could make work, and we ended up with a stellar cast. So can you talk about like, just the, the evolution of the script, I guess? Because you said it was that there were, was it a completed script, or were there... Were there... Well, there, was, there was just a rough structure. And I originally thought this, the style of it might be completely modern along with old. You know, it might be Greek mythology with uh, you know, electricity. It started like that. And then as we started to go forward, we kind of realized we didn't really need the electricity and just working with the Greek thing was enough. I had to take two elements, gods and Theseus. Once we started to put them together, I said, that's enough of a story. You don't need to go that art house in. So, I mean, it, can you talk about just like the, the, just like life on the set, I guess, and like uh, just with all these, uh, the cast is so incredible. And uh, can you talk about just like getting the chance to work with all these guys all under one kind of, one big house? Well, you have to remember when I did this about a year ago, not one of them was known. People kind of knew who Frida was, you know, from the, this thing, and that was about it. And suddenly now all of them are about to explode. So, no. And right now I, I feel like I see them and I feel they're exactly the same unassuming guys that I worked with. They were really, really wonderful. It's just like kids happy to be there. It's like, you know, if you, if you don't have to pay them, you don't have to do anything. They just loved what they were doing, just like me. So you talk about like the, I mean, coming to Comic Con is obviously a really huge deal and you need to kind of get, gauge the, the response from the fans. So I was curious about, if you could talk about what, what the decision process is about choosing what to show here. Uh, I think that's the only thing that I've never been a part of. I'm very much a part of the movie, but when it came to trailers and things like that, I just thought they were cutting stuff that I just thought, you know what, okay, you do what you want because I don't know how to sell it. So they made all the decisions and looked at it, and I just said, okay, no, I wouldn't put this in, I wouldn't put that. Then they said, can you show a fight sequence? And I just gave them the God sequence. And fortunately now, at least a lot of those effects are finished. If this was earlier, it would have been embarrassing.